Smart locks are a great way to make sure that your home stays secure and check on that lock anywhere in the world. Now, if you're looking for a lock, there are some things that you're gonna to wanna to look out for. On this channel, we've tested over 20 different smart locks. We do unboxing, installations, and then we typically test that lock for about 90 days or more. Uh, that way we get a really good feel for how the lock works, uh, reliability, and so forth. Now, the first thing that I recommend that you look for when you're thinking about purchasing a smart lock is how you're gonna to wanna to access it. Uh, whether that's through a keypad, you know, physical key, thumbprint, if you want to use your app or an existing app to control it, uh, you could use your phone like uh, Apple Key as well, or like a key card. So there's a lot of different ways that we can uh, use a smart lock. Uh, so the first one that I'll talk about is a keypad. Uh, I personally really like having a keypad on my front door because uh, that way I can create a code, I can give out that code and it's very easy to use. The person uh, that's accessing it doesn't need to download an app or anything like that. Uh, it's fairly reliable. Uh, then you can delete those codes, you can change them at any time. Uh, so that's a really straightforward way. Uh, some of the locks are gonna have a touch screen on the front. Uh, so with that, you might have where like the numbers move around or there's multiple numbers. Uh, or there's extra numbers that will pop up first. Uh, the reason they do this is so that uh, if someone's watching, uh, they're not gonna have your exact code because they, uh, they have the extra numbers in there and also for fingerprints. Uh, so with those touchscreen locks, uh, that people could uh, you know, see where you've touched before. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that. And to be honest, I find that the uh, touchscreen style locks are a little bit annoying because when you walk up to them it's not always lit up and sometimes you have to touch it and uh, to get it to go uh, so i actually like the tactile feel uh, where you just can see the numbers uh, and use it that way but uh, uh, another a lock that jumps out to me is lockley uh, so there's actually it has like three numbers in a circle and it, it changes uh, so that way like if someone was watching you they can never uh, get your pin code which is kind of cool uh, but I think for most people, it's probably not necessary. For retrofit locks, such as the original Wise or an August lock, they do offer accessory keypads that can be mounted outside near your door that connect wirelessly to the lock uh, and work that way. I, I personally don't like the aesthetic of this. I kind of like having the keypad right on the lock, but I think that is a good solution for uh, cases where you're not gonna be able to change out the entire lock. Another way that people are gonna access their lock is gonna be through an app, whether that's natively through the manufacturer's app or uh, through an existing service like your Apple Home or your Google Home, or if you're using Ring, that like works with Ring program. Uh, so in those scenarios, I really recommend uh, finding what current uh, products you're using and finding something that works with them. Uh, that way you don't have an additional app that you're using just for your lock. You can access it more quickly. Uh, so that kind of leads into our connectivity. A lot of locks are going to connect uh, via Wi-Fi, which is a great standard. A lot of times for smart home devices, I, I kind of recommend uh, using a different protocol such as Zigbee or Z-Wave. Uh, but with the smart lock, I think Wi-Fi is just fine. I really like brands like Quickset and Schlag, where you don't require that additional module. It's just uh, built right into the device uh, from the factory. You don't have uh, anything you have to plug into the wall. Uh, some of the smart locks are gonna have a little adapter and that's gonna connect from uh, the lock to there and then convert that signal uh, into Wi-Fi. Uh, the reason they do that is it helps save on battery life. Uh, because the Wi-Fi does demand more power uh, than like Zigbee or Z-Wave. What if you're using something like works with Ring or you're using Hubitat or Smart Things? You may want to go with like a Z-Wave or a Zigbee uh, lock. And some of the locks do offer uh, modules that will be changed out. So like Yale uh, line of locks, they have just these little uh, things that pull out. Uh, and then you can change it from like Wi-Fi or Z-Wave. Otherwise, when you purchase it, just make sure that the lock that you're getting is compatible with uh, what you intend on using it for. One concern I hear about smart locks is that the battery is gonna run out. While most 
smart locks batteries do last about six months and they will give you indication if there's uh they're starting to go down uh, it is something to to think about uh, the worst thing that could happen is to have that battery die and then you know it's your only way in and you you aren't able to access your home uh, that would be really unfortunate but the great news is that most lock manufacturers have thought about this and so uh, they're going to have like a little USB connection or a spot for like a nine volt to go uh, right on the bottom there. So like for emergency use, you would use that to plug. Otherwise, they might have like a backup, like a key, uh, which is nice to have. I like Quickset in that you can change the key. Uh, they have their smart key system. Uh, that way you can match the keys. Otherwise, if you have multiple smart locks that do have physical keys, you may run into a situation where you, know, you have multiple keys for the same house and that can be uh, confusing. Uh, for me personally, I don't actually use the physical keys. I do keep them for backup uh, just in case something happens, but we really um, rely on that keypad. Locks like uh, Eufy and Quickset uh, Halo Touch have biometric security. Uh, so you can actually program your thumbprint uh, to access your home which is a really great idea. Uh, there are some struggles we found though in the winter time. If it gets really cold, it doesn't always work as, as well as it should. And sometimes with uh, children, their fingerprints don't work uh, quite as well. Uh, so, you know, if your idea is that you're gonna get this smart lock with a thumbprint reader uh, so that your kids can access the lock really easily, you know, I would make sure that it's fully functional for them. Uh, otherwise, you could run into a situation where it's not working and that would not be good. Then that's another reason why I really like the just the keypad. Both Eufy and Lockley make smart locks that have doorbells built into them. That way you can access the camera feed and see who's at the door. This is great for situations where you may not be able to mount a doorbell in the area, whether it's a condo. And I also think it's a great option for like short-term rentals if you're doing Airbnb. Uh, that way you can see who's coming and going without requiring the need of a video doorbell. And it's just right there on the lock. So, you know, if they're the one accessing the door, of course, they're going to show up on there. Uh, so that's really a really good feature. Now, of course, with using a video doorbell uh, built into a lock, that's going to take additional battery power. Uh, so these locks will either have a lot more batteries and require replacing more frequently. Otherwise, what you'll see is they have a rechargeable battery, uh, which is always nice. One of my favorite locks is the Schlag & Code Plus. It features a keypad for easy access with those codes that I mentioned, as well as Apple Key. So you can just uh, take your phone, put it right up to the lock, and that's gonna unlock for you. Uh, you don't have to unlock your phone. You don't have to open up an app to access it. It's just uh, that easy to use. Uh, it also has a key for backup. It looks really nice on the front door. It's easy to install, has about a six month battery life, um, and it works with a lot of other uh, smart home products. Uh, so we're able to integrate that with you know, Ring, so you can just go right into the app. Obviously with uh, Apple Home, as well as Google Home, uh, as well, and uh, Amazon uh, Echo as well. Another brand that I really like is Quickset. Quickset has been in business for a really long time. Uh, they're very reliable and they have a lot of really good looking options. Their locks are easy to install. Uh, I personally like the Halo Touch. I think that looks really nice. I like the fingerprint option they have for that lock. Uh, it is one that I recommend for quite a few people uh, as well. Uh, you can connect it via Z-Wave if you get the Z-Wave version, and that works well if you have like a ring security system. Eufy has had a number of smart locks come out over the years, and we've had the pleasure of testing all of them. Uh, they've continued to iterate on these locks and get better and better. So if you're going to purchase one that's used, make sure that you get the correct version because for uh, their most popular lock, there's actually three versions. Uh, one communicates over Wi-Fi, which is what you want. The one version of it has a module that connects, which is fine. And the uh, oldest version, which you shouldn't find online anymore, but may still be floating out there in the used market, doesn't actually connect via Wi-Fi at all. It relies on Bluetooth. 
Wise is a very affordable option and makes a great quality lock. Do be careful though when you're doing the installation as by default it's set to auto lock. And so I've heard of people installing the lock, closing the door while they're on the outside and the door locks and you know their phone is on the inside and they're unable to uh, unlock the door. If you're considering purchasing a used smart lock, you may be able to save some money. However, be very careful because the previous owner needs to factory reset and release that lock from their ownership in order for you to install it on your door. Uh, if they haven't done that, it's not going to work for you and uh, you're going to be very upset. I've heard some concerns about people thinking that smart locks are less secure. Uh, I don't believe that to be the case. Uh, the only time they're very vulnerable would be during the installation process. One thing I have pointed out in the past is that uh, some of the smart locks do have the master code written on the battery door. Uh, so if that's the case, just make sure that there's like a screw there or uh, black it out or remove it or change that code. Uh, that way people that have access to the home can't uh, just uh, pull that battery lid, turn it around and figure out what your code is and create a code from themselves. Uh, I do think that you know criminals are very determined. Uh, so just like any lock, you know it is possible that they could pick it. Uh, if they really wanted to get into your house, they could break in you know, through a window by any other means as well. Smart locks add a added peace of mind because you can check on your lock anywhere in the world and see if it's been tampered with, what its current status is. Now let's go over some of the best selling smart locks on Amazon. I have these listed in alphabetical order. First up is the Bozma Aegis smart lock with Wi-Fi gateway. It has auto unlock and auto lock remote control. You can uh, provide access to gifts via the app. There is break-in detection. It does work with Alexa and Google, and it is a retrofit option, so it's going to replace your existing inside portion, but your outside key will remain the same. Uh, this uh, is an interesting-looking lock. It's easy to install. It's very affordable. Uh, they do have a fingerprint add-on available for this lock, and it does connect uh, via Wi-Fi. So this would be a nice affordable option for someone particularly in a case where you're not able to replace the full lock and you're just you know maybe temporarily replacing uh, the inside uh, similar to that lock is going to be the august wi-fi lock this is now the fourth generation uh, so over the years it's gotten slimmer they've improved the battery life uh, this lock is one of the most easy locks to install it's going to communicate over wi-fi uh, again, it's going to replace just the inside so that you're going to be able to use your existing key uh, that connects via the August app. Uh, very compatible with uh, a lot of smart home products. It's really good if you're using the Google ecosystem. Next up is Eufy, and they currently have three different versions of locks available. Uh, we've tested a number of different Eufy locks over the years, and uh, these are very good. Uh, so this particular one, the C210, uh, also known as E110. Uh, the 5-in-1 keyless entry door lock is currently one of the most popular options on Amazon. So there are five ways to unlock this lock. You can use uh, the Eufy app. You can use a keypad, the physical key. Uh, you can use your Apple Watch or your voice assistant, whether that's Alexa or Google. Now, if you have the Eufy doorbell, you can integrate that together and create a routine uh, to control those two devices. Next up from Eufy is the E130 smart lock. Uh, what that's going to add is the fingerprint keyless entry. Uh, so this will communicate uh, via Bluetooth as well. It has the touchscreen keypad. It is weatherproof um, and it is compatible with their Wi-Fi bridge, but that is actually sold separately. Uh, so personally, I think I would spend the extra money and get uh, one of their other locks that doesn't require the bridge. Now the top of the line lock from Eufy is their S330 video smart lock. Uh, so that's going to be a three-in-one lock with a camera and doorbell built in, as well as that fingerprint keyless entry. Uh, this lock does not require the bridge uh, and it does have a uh, remote control. It's a 2K 
of video quality. Uh, the thing with uh, any doorbell that's built into a lock is that if you have a storm door or anything, uh, that may impede the view, but you will get a good view of anyone that's accessing the door. Uh, so uh, with this lock, it's gonna be a rechargeable battery. The insulation process was pretty straightforward. It looks really nice on the door. Now when I look into the Quickset line of products, uh, they've got their very popular Halo line, which is their Wi-Fi series. Uh, I really like that series just because uh, you don't require that additional bridge. You don't have to have a hub or anything. Um, this one does have that touch screen. I kind of prefer uh, having no touch screen, but uh, it does look really good on the door. Uh, it does have that quick set smart key, so you can actually rekey the lock to match your other locks uh, for your physical key. And it does come in a number of different design choices that uh, match existing hardware. Quick set's a very popular and reliable brand for locks in door hardware in general and so uh, this is a very nice looking lock uh, from that same lineup they do have the halo touch series uh, and if you're looking for a fingerprint door lock this is the one i really like it doesn't have a keypad but it really looks slick on your door uh, there is no hub required it does communicate via wi-fi uh, the insulation process on this one was very straightforward Next up, we've got the level lock. Uh, so they've got the level bolt, they've got the level touch. Uh, so the level bolt smart lock is a smart deadbolt that works with your existing lock. Uh, unlike the others that replace the backside of the lock, this is actually going to replace the deadbolt portion. Uh, so the whole mechanism uh, is just built in there. The battery is actually in uh, the deadbolt part that comes out. So it's round instead of being more of a rectangle shape like you might be used to. Uh, so it will require a little bit of work you know, to change that piece out. Um, I've noticed that in colder climates, you may have issues where uh, that circle doesn't line up quite perfectly. Uh, so that's something to look out for. Um, I've seen a lot of people that will install these incorrectly. <laughs> so it's just follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, they do have the key card version. Uh, that uh, where you can just put that up to the door and that'll unlock it otherwise you know it does integrate with a lot of systems so if you're using like the ring security system you can control it directly there otherwise they have their own app uh, very easy to use and you're able to give access to others uh, but they would have to uh, download that app and then uh, connect to it uh, via bluetooth so uh, and they do also have a keypad add-on uh, so that would communicate with the lock. Uh, that way you could just share like the key code, uh, which might be easier for people. This is a good option, you know, if you have a lock in place that you really like, uh, you like the aesthetics of that lock and you want to keep that, uh, but you want to replace just the inside. Uh, next up, we've got the SwitchBot Wi-Fi Smart Lock. Uh, this is a keyless door lock that's going to go on the backside of your door. Uh, without actually replacing anything and so it kind of sticks in place there um, great for renters really uh, that's what I th uh, really c comes top of mind for me uh, they advertise it as being good for an Airbnb you know if it was me I would just uh, you know, replace the whole lock if I own the property uh, they do have the key pad add-on that does connect again wirelessly with the lock uh, and then it has a fingerprint on there as an option as well uh, it's an interesting looking lock for sure <laughs> uh, but if you have a unusual lock that requires a lot of extra turns or something or maybe like a patio style door uh, this might actually work in that instance yeah that is the switch bot lock another popular lock on amazon is going to be the ultra o q u bolt plus so that's got a bridge uh, with a wi-fi adapter uh, they say it's a six-in-one keyless entry uh, with app. It does communicate via Wi-Fi, but it does connect uh, Wi-Fi through the Bluetooth uh, with that module there. Uh, it has a fingerprint ID as well as a keypad that kind of goes in a circle around it. Uh, that front keypad actually opens up and that reveals uh, where the key, physical key, can go. And then you've got your fingerprint there and then as well as access uh, via the app itself. And so, you know, this is a, a popular lock for sure. 
uh, it is very unique. Again, I have links to all of the products mentioned in this video in the description below. Uh, if you use those affiliate links, it does help support the channel, which I appreciate. Now on Amazon, you'll find the Wise Lock Bolt. Uh, it comes in both satin as well as matte and black. It is a fingerprint keyless entry door lock. Uh, it does connect via Bluetooth. Uh, it's got the fingerprint as well as a keypad. And then you can actually purchase this in a package as well uh, with either a, like a camera or one of their doorbells. So a really good value option there. Lockly currently has two very popular smart lock options available on Amazon. The first is the Lockly Secure Pro. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi lock with keyless entry. Uh, that's the one where the numbers are going to move around on your screen for you uh, for more security. It does have a 3D biometric fingerprint sensor as well, and it does connect uh, wirelessly via your Wi-Fi network. A good battery life on this lock and it does have a physical key for backup. If you're wanting to have that uh, video doorbell built in with the camera, that's gonna be the Lockley Vision. Uh, so all those same features with the addition of that video doorbell. Last up, we've got the Yale Assure Lock 2. This is a Wi-Fi smart lock with keyless entry for remote access. Uh, it's very nice, clean look. Uh, there is no physical key for backup, uh, but it does connect really well with like the uh, Google Home, uh, so you can control it that way as well as with uh, Apple. Uh, so we've got the keypad on the front. It's got a little battery spot on the bottom there in the event of an emergency where uh, if the battery were to die, you could just you know go to the store, get a 9-volt battery, hold it up to the bottom. And that's going to give you enough power to put in your key code uh, for emergency access. This is all just my personal opinion. Take it for what it is. If you enjoyed this video, I've got a link here on the screen to other videos of my product recommendations uh, for smart home technology. So check that out if you're you know, looking to add to your home. Until next time, take care.